This is this picture you are seeing at the background of the screen. It's the picture of my former pastor. His name is Bishop John Mike Luton. He defrauded me of 18 million naira. He said I should come and buy land. That he has a vast land available. So I, I spoke to my son overseas. And the boy paid 18 million naira. When the boy was paying this money, I used to ask him, Sir, where is this property? And this man will only reply to me, saying. Uh, are you suspecting me? And I will leave him because everybody they fear him as a pastor, as a, as a prophet. He said he's a retired colonel. Of course, he's the bishop of the church since three years ago when this money was paid to him. I have not seen the land till today. It was when I was even asking him, I left the church last year and I was pressurizing him to show me this land. I got a fatal motor accident that almost lay my life. Yet what this man could tell me was that I'm too small to fight with him. So let the world come to my head. I know I'm too small to fight with him, but I didn't know I was fighting with him. All of what I did was that I am requesting for my property. Thereby call upon the, uh, the human rights activists and uh, well-meaning Nigerians. In fact, the video, video, there should be people to help me circulate this, uh, this uh, video until it gets to the, the world many Nigerians. And we are video, the Nigerian army, where this man claimed to, to come from, to, to be a, a former government. For, uh, I, and, and particularly the church where he said he emanated from. That is the uh, uh, Church of God mission. Um, people are going through a lot in this country. The amount of people that are going through oppression in this Nigeria. Bro, the amount of people going through oppression in Nigeria is crazy. Now, I just saw this video on the blog. I was just going through it. And from nowhere, I just said my name. Imagine the pain. Imagine the agony and suffering. This man has been enduring all this while. Before this man decides to come online, to come and talk, just imagine what this guy don't suffer. Did you listen to that video? That his son, the man was the one that advertised to him, according to the story, that the, his own bishop in church advertised to him that I have a lot of lands that I want to sell. He now told the son that, please, send me money, let me buy this land. Then the son started paying bit by bit. While the son was paying, he kept on asking that, Oga, where is the land that we are paying for? The man said, don't you trust me? And of course, he's a pastor. You won't go to challenge pastor, especially with the way Nigerians and Africans worship pastors. Do you understand? That uh, eventually they ended up paying all the money. Oh yeah, bring land. This man refused to bring the land again. Now they started dragging back and forth, back and forth. Now one day he was just going out and he was involved in a fatal accident. He went to go and tell this pastor, I'll be the bishop. And the bishop said, eh, he, 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 don't you know you are too small to fight me? On top land where you collect. They say, touch not my anointed. But if you know the people that are anointed are chopping every day. If people start telling you the stories, the amount of stories and the amount of things they've gone through in the hands of these so-called pastors in Nigeria, you'll be surprised. A lot of them use the office of the Lord to eat people, to chop people's money, to just bully, oppress them, you know, take advantage of them, people's wives, people's husband, people's finance. If you talk now, they'll say you talk about pastors. I don't know this man, but I beg. You understand? Anybody who know him, I just pray, just have receipts. The law is the law. Just have receipts. You cannot obtain anybody by, by, by false pretense. That's obtaining by false pretense. It's fraudulent. If the evidence align. If the evidence align, then it's fraud. I bet I'm going to send me this man number for my DM. I'm going to see in receipts saying pay the man true true. May name appear. I also say no be cash you give them. If not transfer, even though you know transfer and through for you go bank, don't go print your bank statements. So go can you can come abuja. That's all now they do. As of now, everything is alleged. So until I don't see the evidence when I need. Do you understand? But for now, me, I don't use my platform to give the case more views so that Nigerians go know what they happen. And no got pastor. Uh, Bishop John Clinton, I'll be waiting to say be your name. I beg, respect your, your respect your name. Which will be the man name again? Bishop John Mike Clinton, please respect your name and respect the church that you are with.
please give this old man his land. Please. If you are with his land, give him his land. Else you might learn who, to be honest, who will not care, who not a fear pastor. And God call you a hen. And God call you. That's if not God call you. Me self, God self, still call me too. But give this man his land. He's in pains. Thank you very much. Don't play. Else you go and learn. And you might learn the hard way. Don't play. I welcome you, child of God. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and grateful. You guys have watched the video. This is a version of Christianity we are practicing in our generation. Christianity of fraud. Christianity of scam. You can't trust pastors again. Pastors cannot trust themselves. They don't even trust members. And they call themselves Christians. You see? Where are those people that normally say, Touch not my anointed? And do my prophet no harm. No, I say, man of God, uh, no, let the leave them all. No, they are holy people. You see your holy man? No, can you see your holy man? Go and check his profile on Facebook. I think this is his profile. Bishop Mike John Clinton. Work at self-employed. Studied human relationship at Lagos State University. Imagine, human relationship lives in Lagos, Nigeria. From Lagos, Nigeria, married. Uh, you see? Manipulation. He has removed his picture. He don't have any picture again on his profile. He don't have. He has really removed his pictures, all his videos, everything has been removed. You see? Or oh, as you know, uh, all this, he has not posted before, whatever. That one is not uh, my talk. What I'm saying here is that this is the pastor you are talking about too. Okay? Uh huh. This is your pastor. Is your pastor? You see your pastor? Mm hmm. A man sent him money with trust. With trust. He sent him money to please buy land for my son that lives in abroad. That lives in Europe. Where people labor, people suffer to make money. They don't pick money on the ground. They suffer in this part of the world to make their money. You don't just sit down and be eating money. No, I'm able to save such amount of money. If you want, you can, if it is full, government can provide food for you in this part of the Europe. But they will never give you that kind of money. No. Even if you're not working here, government can be feeding you. But you will, may not be able to save such money. So meaning that that guy is working. Meaning that his son is working. Do you know he's out there working? Winter he's there. Summer he's there. Working. After labeling for years, he was able to save money to build house. Buy land uh, to just to build house for his family. For his father. And what he, this man, now look at the result. Pastors come him. Months of hard labor, scammed by a pastor, a man that's supposed to take care of you and hide that money and make sure that you use the money to do something reasonable. Which version of Christianity are we practicing in our generation? Pastor, now you, you're no way to be found. Now, a believer, a man is now crying to unbeliever, which is very dark man, to help him to recover his, his loss. <laughs> abnormal condition please unbeliever help me to fight my pastor who claimed to be a Christian please help me to recover my money from my pastor who claimed to be a born again Christian please help me to recover my money from my pastor who claimed to be a man that is leading me to Christ instead of him leading me to Christ because he's no longer leading me to Christ he's now leading me out of Christ please unbeliever help me to fight my pastor to recover my money before this man will cry like this, of course he might have called the man, messaged him, talked to him for where. Maybe the son is now troubled. I don't want to speak much here, please. I just want to present to you the version of Christianity that are practicing in our country. The version of wickedness that are practicing in Nigeria. This man can, I mean, I believe that this man cannot lie against his pastor. Maybe now he said, I collected the money, I gave it to one agent, uh, this and that. That's he processing the document. Uh, just be patient. This is just what you're going to say. 
Because he's not the first. He's not the first. A lot has been eating and swallowing people's money like this. So a Christian cannot trust his pastor again. He can't trust your pastor again. Hey, this word, eh? Well, what is your opinion on this? Do you think that this man is lying against his pastor? Or do you think that the man is not lying? Because this thing time you. But let me be ask self. This is our thing self don't even do. We like overdue. We like overdue, my people. Your son sent money to you. Instead of you to look for people that are selling land or go to normal, normal channel. Everywhere in Nigeria, just yaga yaga. Pastor is doing, is doing pastor business. He's into uh, real estate. He's into do this and that. This person may not be into real estate. He just wants to scam. Yeah, God said, God said, go to real estate. Where well, registered real estate? You know, we like shortcut. You will not like that part, that one. You like where they will say you cheap house, cheap land, cheap article, cheap this and that. Go there, register. You know, if you're paying the money, pay in the bank, you have your receipt, your lawyer will be there. This money is not small money now. Your lawyer will be there, everything will be signed and stamped. They will have their lawyer, you have proof. Is this kind of thing happen? You know how to get your money. If you ask the person now, maybe the person has even swallowed the money, the person will say, eh, this and that, eh, the money, this uh, uh, story, all manners of nonsense story. Before you even ask yourself, you only cook what you give you. You only keep what you cook and give you. That is the version of Christianity we are practicing. What shall you profit if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Or what shall you gain in exchange of your soul? Why have we decided to be hurting people in the name of Christianity? Did Christ practice this kind of Christianity? Christianity of flood and scam. The disciples of Jesus practice this. He can't trust your pastor again. You can't. Because of weakness, wickedness of heart. Why are we like this? No, why are we like this? How do we get here? How do we get here, my people? False prophets everywhere. Bible says in Matthew 7 15, Bible says, Beware of false prophets who come to you sheep clothing. But in only the alivious wolves. Beware of false prophets. But if you want to talk, no, my pastor is not a false prophet. My this and that is not a false prophet. Nobody believes that his own or her own is false prophet. All of them all believe that their own, they are all genuine, even including this man. Who, before this man scam him, if he asks this man, he will tell that his pastor is the genuine and the one powerful man of God. That is not a false prophet. Imagine. Well, let's end here. Please, I want to hear from you in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Oga, please, can he return his money? This man is in pain. It don't cause people pain in the name of gospel. It don't manipulate people with him in the name of gospel. He hide under the canopy of Christianity and be committing all sorts of evil. This one is confined Yahoo. So thank you guys for listening. If this man is saying the truth, please refund his money. Love you guys. Bye.